So the A and D is okay, meaning the upper and the lower jaw relationship is okay. Then you can make a diagnosis as skeletally, this patient is class one, two, three. Which one? So class one. Everybody class one. So if this number is a negative number, it's minus two. What is what's the choice? You you have to say that's class three. So if it's uh, way beyond uh, normal value, meaning this number if it is happened to be five point five, so you have you have to say it's a class two. So what about his molar relation? As we have to go back to the molar relation page. Okay, take a look here. On the E model, that's why you use E model, you can rotate it 360 degrees. Okay, you can rotate it freely. Now you see it very clear. This is a class one, two, or three. Which one? Class two. Class two molar, because the upper molar is in front of the lower molar. This cusp should be on the buccal groove, but now move forward. So this class two molar relation, so does the class two canine relationship. So this class two molar relationship can be caused by what? The upper molar migrating forward. The lower molar moving backward, or maybe not the lower molar, the whole neck.